My name is Mertz, I'm German-Turkish. I'm Andrew, I'm from the US. Ten Yi. I come from China. I'm Kevin, I'm from France. We are in KLCC in the center of Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. In this episode, we're gonna see what people's first impressions are of Malaysia, of Kuala Lumpur. I make this video because an earlier video, about six months ago, there was a gentleman, he was saying that the first impression of Kuala Lumpur is not that great. First, I'm showing you what video I'm talking about. Then we're gonna see what people's really first impression is of Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. You don't like it at first and then as you see the diversity and everything, it, it, it gets better, I think. But when you first see it, I think it, that's why they don't have many tourists, I think. The initial impression is not very ah, good. Do you remember coming here the first time? Yeah, I didn't like it. I mean, it was just, I just passed through it. The environment here, do you think it's clean? No. This trip is for one month, around a month. And have you been here already for so long or how long have you um, been here now? No, I just came yesterday. We're actually after the first impressions of Kuala Lumpur. We met a guy about six months ago mm. and he was saying like first impressions are not so great. Mm. Um, and I tried to figure out what's the real story. Uh, how do you like it? I'm just very impressed, you know, I mean, I've just been like on top of the Petronas Towers and it's just, it's just very unique, right? I mean, I don't think there are many uh, cities in the world similar. I mean, maybe Dubai would come to my mind or maybe New York, right? I mean, in terms of like the skyscraper in the build-up. I'm just super impressed. I'm not sure how it's like culturally, so I want to maybe get in touch more with the locals to understand how it's like the daily life here. But the city itself, I mean, infrastructure is amazing. Definitely like European level, no, without any doubt. Maybe even Probably better than cool. European. Yeah. At, least, at least the trains are driving better here than yeah. uh, the <laughs> True, home, uh, true, thing. true. The same person we talk about. Yeah, saying it's dirty, it's mm. not clean, but I think it developed over the years. But how is your experience on this? No, I think it's super clean, you know, I think it's yeah. super clean. I mean, the only thing that I would say is, you know, it's a new town, relatively new town, right? So maybe it doesn't really have its unique character. I mean, in some parts, yes, but maybe in other parts, just like skyscrapers, like 20 size skyscrapers next to each other. Uh, so maybe this is the only part where I would say, okay, you know, this is... Uh, okay. Otherwise, I think it's quite... Um, clean it seems to be very safe yeah. you know do you interact uh, or have you been able to interact to a lot of locals yet um, no actually not so I mean I just came yesterday you know but yeah. uh, I mean I've heard loads of good things about like Malaysians you know that they're super kind and welcoming yeah. I mean I've spent a lot of time in Indonesia you know okay. so was there three four months um, you know a few years ago I just uh, for me it's the best place on the earth wow, the best yeah. people the best people on the earth so I imagine it's similar here I think Malaysia is a bit more developed right so maybe the facilities everything is a bit better so I just want to compare because I love Indonesia and I just want to basically compare what is better here what is there you know where is like a that's a place for the long term, maybe also for family and things like that. Ah, so, okay. Are you here alone or are you with someone? I'm, I'm alone here, oh, I'm alone okay. here. So I'm actually also working, so ah. <laughs> yeah, I'm also working. So it's like 3, 4 p.m., you know, when it's in the morning and in Germany, I'll start working. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just using like the mornings to just discover and yeah, roam yeah. around and the yeah. afternoon, evening, I'll be working. In Germany, you know, there's a lot of strikes, you know, they, they cannot really find any people that do like the more simple jobs I would say so there's often delays with trains with uh, on airports there's always like lots of issues I think uh, things I managed here is it's really good you know also the way yeah the maintenance is uh, pretty solid and yeah I think it's, it's very yeah but also world-class city you know yeah, world-class yeah. city really <laughs> hey I've got one more question do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on yeah I think you know everyone is going to Thailand everyone is going to I don't know but I, th I think really Malaysia is somehow like a like a like a blind spot you know I would say for many people so I think really you know rather than going like to the very touristy and well um, you know well discovered areas like well explorers I think come to Malaysia and yeah. see like a different world here, yeah, different yeah. culture and yeah many people don't even really know if you ask them like in Europe you know hey I'm going to Malaysia they don't know whether it is on the map many people haven't heard of the country even though it's huge even though it has lots to offer yeah. that's what well, I that would be my message yeah come to come to Malaysia that's my message that's my first time I got here day before yesterday how is um, it so far uh, so far it's great yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. it's a it's a gorgeous city and really walkable so we talked with an American guy actually six months ago and he was saying he loves Malaysia now but the very first impressions weren't good he should have eaten where I did <laughs> uh, yeah. where did you go I, uh, I just went to a, a shawarma place oh, yeah. uh, right across from my hotel okay. it was amazing yeah. um, and then last night in Chinatown I found a place called junk um, and they had a, a full of junk burger <laughs> and it was amazing. Nice. I mean, some of the best food I've ever had. Coffee is hard to find because I didn't realize I arrived on a public holiday. The Starbucks is open, I see. Yeah, today. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday I had something, I don't know. Is the city clean, you think? Oh my God, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I actually, I'm, I'm from the U.S., but I live in Bangkok. Ah. So, um, yeah, okay. it seems so compared to Bangkok? Compared to Bangkok, uh, it's 
way wealthier. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Oh. And um, they use building materials other than concrete. The thing that I like about KL, uh, yeah. I don't want to say anything negative about Bangkok, oh, but uh, there's oh, yeah. it's so green and spacious. I, I love Bangkok, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's amazing. Everything's glass and yeah. steel and tons of trees. But, I've been taking pictures of trees everywhere, like in the middle of the city, gigantic trees yeah. that didn't yeah. get torn down. You're planning to do something or? I'm just walking around every yeah. day. That's that's what I do usually yeah. when I go on holiday. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I didn't know I'd be here at the Patronus Towers. So, yeah. I'm yeah. just finding what I find. Yeah. And how long are you going to stay? Uh, I'm leaving on Sunday. Ah, so, okay. just a short trip. Are you coming back soon? Uh, I definitely want to come back. Yeah. I want to bring my friends. <laughs> it's nice. Three months. Three months? You've been in Kuala Lumpur already? Yes. How many times have you been to Malaysia already? That's the second time. Can you remember the very first time when you arrived in Kuala Lumpur? How did you like the city? Uh, <laughs> mm, just so so. Yeah, okay. <laughs> because the uh, traffic not that convenient. <laughs> Especially yeah. by car, it's uh, yeah, yeah, traffic jam. Yeah. <laughs> and how about how about now? Are, are you happy here? Now is um, better, I think. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, because it's warm here and the sunshine is yeah. uh, yes, it's so beautiful. How come you're staying here for so long? I study here. What yeah. do you study? Uh, for PhD, mm -hmm. uh, graphic design. Is it a nice city to study in Kuala Lumpur? Uh, yes, yeah. because a uh, lot of Chinese students here. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah. do you and it's because it's uh, nearby my city. Oh, which city? Uh, Canton, okay. uh, Guangzhou. Guangzhou. You know, oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not too far from Guangzhou to here, like nearly four hours. Yeah. yeah. So you can't go back sometimes? Yes, and the uh, flights. It's not that expensive, ah, yes. Yeah. Hey, but do you also mix with local people here or are you just uh, with uh, students, let's say, from other countries? Uh, it depends. Yeah. Okay. Mm, it depends. Yeah. But um, normally it's uh, a, a go with my classmate. How do you like the food over here? Uh, loose from the Chinese food because they have also a lot of Chinese food here. Do you like the food uh, here in Malaysia? <laughs> I just say it's not very suitable for me. Oh, and why not? <laughs> uh, it's too sweet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah. And I actually don't really like curry. Ah, gotcha. gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how about the Chinese Malaysian food? Is it also too sweet for you or is it uh, uh, also nice? I think it's nice. Yeah? Yes, especially like uh, hot pot. Hop I like hot pot. Do you think it's clean in Kuala Lumpur? I think it's clean, but uh, like in Chinatown, okay. it's not that clean. Uh, it depends. Uh, like this area, is, I think it's very clean. Yeah, yeah. It's true, it depends which area you go. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm. Have you been anywhere else in Southeast Asia other than Malaysia? Mm, Thailand and Singapore. Out of these three, uh, these are really nice countries, the, mm. the three of them. Which one do you prefer? Thailand. Oh yeah? And why is that? <laughs> I like the food there. Ah, the Thai yeah, food. yummy. I've been there like uh, from yesterday, so just one day. It's my okay. first day totally ah. there. Did you fly in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. From uh, Australia. I've been working there for four months, so oh, nice. now I'm here on oil days. Like, yeah. yeah. Uh, you go back to uh, to Australia then after this? Or? No, no, no. I will just spend like four months or five months in, in Asia, like uh, oh. having a world trip. Nice. And yeah. why did you start here? Uh, because it was really cheap, a uh, cheap flight for, yeah. from Australia, like uh, really nothing. And uh, it was really close to Singapore, I want to, to go there. Yeah. And uh, then I can go everywhere, like in yeah. Asia, so nice. it's pretty easy. What are your first impressions of Kuala Lumpur? Uh, I really like it, like uh, I, I had a quick walk like uh, yesterday on the night market. Okay. Like I, uh, I'm living like in the suburbs, like close to, uh, in the youth hostel. How did you get from the airport to your hotel or your hostel? Uh, by, uh, I took a grab. Yeah. Uh, the, the local uh, Uber. Okay. And uh, yeah, because it was like two hours by, by bus, so uh, as I came like at mm, uh, 11 oh, PM. Like, uh, PM. Yeah, oh, so it was yeah. really, really late. Gotcha, so gotcha. Cleanliness, does it feel safe and all? Mm, I think for uh, countries like, that is like in development, it's quite good, like to be honest. Yeah. Uh, there are some suburbs that, that are like, we feel that it's uh, more poor. In the center, it's yeah. quite clean, yeah. Okay. And do you feel safe here? Um, like in, in the suburbs, uh, as it was uh, by night and I was alone, like uh, I, I, feel, I felt like uh, a bit, uh, not scared, but uh, just 
uh, alert, like uh, ah. wa wa uh, watching around me. Yeah. But uh, by day it's totally safe, I think, yeah, for the moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, where are you from? Uh, Netherlands. Netherlands? Yeah. Oh, okay, nice. <laughs> So, uh, and you from Fran France? France, yeah, yeah. Where am I in France? Uh, from the Willy North, like Lille. Have you been to Paris a lot? Yeah, I have yeah. a lot of friends and it's, Lille is like one hour away from, ah. from Paris, so yeah. So a lot of people saying like, if you compare Kuala Lumpur to Paris, for example, yeah. Kuala Lumpur is actually quite clean. Yeah, 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 but Paris has a bad reputation and it's quite like a deserved, I think. Okay. Uh, because like some areas are, are not clean and uh, we have a lot of... Uh, like, you know, but cigarettes uh, on the ground and oh, stuff like this. How was Australia? Was it good? Yeah, it was quite good, yeah. Like, the, the climate is really drier than here. Uh, because I, the first thing I, I felt is, like, humidity. Like, uh, we are yeah, both sweating both a lot. Sweating, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it's quite normal, so, yeah. yeah. But uh, I think it's uh, not as hard as I thought. We can handle it, like... Yeah, uh, I also figured that a lot of people, a lot of locals here, also stay quite a bit inside or in the shade or yeah. go out late at night or uh, beginning of the day, let's say, before, you know, yeah. get up early. And yeah, and uh, everywhere when, when we go inside there, like, uh, it's fresh and, and cool. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. And also, you would really help this channel if you share this video to someone who is interested in content in Kuala Lumpur or in Southeast Asia in general, because we are based in Thailand, showing you the beauty of Southeast Asia and meeting a lot of people along the way. Thank you subscribers, thank you members, and thank you for watching till the very end. I would like to say from KLCC in the heart of Kuala Lumpur, bye for now and stay champ.